The key thing to remember with divisional performance indicators is what are you trying to achieve? If you want to compare different divisions so that you can judge whether they are being successful or not, then return on investment is a sensible one to use. It will allow you to compare large parts of the organisation with small parts of the organisation because it comes out as a percentage. But on the other hand, managers of each division are there to make decisions. Those decisions should increase stakeholder wealth, particularly shareholder wealth. Now for that, residual income is better. Because if something is good for the shareholders, it will increase the residual income. If the residual income will go down, then it's a bad decision for the shareholders. So if you want your managers to make decisions that are going to increase shareholder wealth, you should judge them on residual income. On the other hand, if you want to simply say who's doing well and who's doing badly, you should judge them using return on investment. So the method that you use will depend on what you're trying to achieve.